Everybody in Australia hates bogans and nobody wants to be called a bogan. But is it even a bad thing? What actually is a bogan? The dictionary definition of a bogan is an uncouth or unsophisticated person regarded as being of low social status. But what the f*** does this actually mean? I barely understand half the words, let alone a bogan. Poor old bogans have been the punching bag of Australian society for decades. But where does the word bogan actually come from? Like most interesting Australian terms, it comes from the Aboriginal language, likely the Wiradjuri or Nyampa people. The term bogan meant the birthplace of a notable headman of a local tribe. This meaning led to the naming of a river in New South Wales to be the Bogan River. Meanwhile, Sydney had developed into the largest city in the nation, the richest people living on the coast to the east. As the city grew, the suburbs expanded further inland to the west. These western suburbs were home to more blue collar workers and in more recent years, large amounts of immigrants who could afford to live on the cheaper land. The rough and knockabout characters of the western suburbs came to be known as Westies. If a person's behaviour, actions or possessions aligned with characteristics of a stereotypical Westie, the residents of Eastern Sydney would be quick to call them the derogatory term. But sometimes the Westie may be so much so from the western suburbs, they may even be as far west as the Bogan River and thus a bogan. So the question then remains, what are the characteristics of a bogan? Let's split the stereotypes into four categories. Clothing, behavior, cars, and occupation. Clothing starts with gimmicky warm clothing items such as hoodies, Ugg boots, or moccasins. Clothing brands associated with cheap department stores like Kmart or Big W such as Mambo, Everlast. Blue collar threads such as blue singlets. Flatty! Yo, high vis fluoro, eh? International holiday souvenirs such as Bean Tang singlets from Bali, Muay Thai shorts from Thailand, sportswear worn casually such as sports sunnies, board shorts, footy jumpers, cars can range from Holden Commodores, Ford Falcons for the supercar loving bogans, to cheap Japanese cars falling apart such as Camrys and Magnus, for the more rural bogans perhaps an old beaten up farm ute such as Rodeos, Navaras or even something niche like Protons or Subaru Brumbies. Occupation is a bit of a touchy subject. The Stereotype of bogans is they may be unemployed on welfare payments, colloquially known as the Dole or Centrelink. If they are employed, they might be a contractor working only for cash and in for tax efficiency. Or they may partake in a range of local jobs such as working at Woolies or Coles, local pubs, rural supply stores. Behaviour. Well, they love their drinking and their punting. Favourite alcohol depends on which state the bogans from and whether they like beer or spirits. The gambling could be on the horses, the dogs, the good old fashioned poker machines. Bogans can often be caught hooning their favourite supercar variants, four wheel driving their favourite off road vehicle. Bogans also love their hunting and their fishing. I could list bogan stereotypes all day, but before we go any further, I want to address this one question. Is being a bogan actually a bad thing? When calling someone a bogan, there are usually two intentions people have. The first is they're being derogatory, meaning they wish to paint the individual in an unsavory light. Bogans are sometimes placed in a basket of being discriminatory towards race, gender, sexuality. Being called a bogan in this derogatory manner is obviously unfavorable. The second intention is usually just to do with banter, taking the piss. You're calling someone a bogan to tease them about a bogan trait they've temporarily displayed, but no hard feelings are at play and no one is too offended. In the first circumstance, you can see how being a bogan comes the negative connotation. But in the second, being a bogan can be a bit of harmless fun. But what I want to delve into are those proud bogans, those that are happy to self-identify as a bogan and take it in their stride. This could be related to a sense of nationalism, but generally Australians tend to be less patriotic than other countries. So I think there's something more we're missing here. Instead, I see the self-identifying bogans as those who just love a carefree laid-back lifestyle, enjoying watching sports, eating takeaway or pub meals, drinking, punting, thumping the SS unit into the sunset. Not only can bogans be relatively harmless individuals, they can also represent a unique slice of culture that has spawned amongst Australians. It also needs to be noted that many bogans make up those that keep our societies and communities running. Volunteers at local fundraisers, farmers markets, op shops, sports clubs often fall into the bogan category. Without these people, many small towns and suburbs would fall apart to either nothingness or gentrified concrete jungles respectively. Bogans are sometimes defined as uncultured, unsociable, derelict beings. But this would be unfair to the friendly working class people who have found ways to enjoy the smaller things in life. Now you know what a bogan is and you're ready to start throwing around the label to anyone you see fit. But remember, what you're really trying to say when you call someone a bogan.